Chris Michaels. I used to have a lot of respect for you, but you see, I lost that respect when you attacked me. You know, and I got to thinking, why, Chris? Why did you attack me? But then it hit me. You attacked me because you were bitter of the young guys coming up to replace you. And you're singling me out as the leader of the young guys because in the last year, I've done more than what most people do in their careers. Ring of Honor, Chikara, and even WWE. But see, Chris, I don't understand why you're bitter. You've done so many things in this business, include help train most of the top guys of today. But you want to attack me. That's fine, Chris, because now there's a bullseye on you, and I'm coming for you, and when I find you, I'm going to knock you out. <laughs> Shepard. Should say anti-bully? Yeah. Anti-bully, huh? What do you got some problem with bully Douglas or something? What's yeah, what are we on? doing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hey. <laughs> what do you want? Ah, just what's with the anti-bully thing? You know, you got, got a problem with bullies? You know, sticking up to the little guy? Is that what you're doing? Huh? You are you bullying? You can't turn now. Just, just a question. No, no, these just a question. They're, no, these are, they're, they're, they're good. They're good. They're spiritual advisors. What do you want? Listen, you don't get, a, get, a, don't get all swelled up. It's cool. You're acting like a boy. You know what? Maybe, maybe, you got the bat phone on you? Maybe we'll just call up King Cash and bring him in here. Oh. Huh? See if you can uh, anti bully him. Hey, hey, hey. Way to be a star. <laughs> Good game. Yeah. Good talk. And revolutionized we are. These two guys in the ring, Menace and Sean Schultz, are taking it to each other like nobody else. Yeah, we've seen these guys last week in the tag team main event. This week, it's one-on-one -on -one singles action. Ooh, hard shot by Menace. The revolution continues here at RGE Wrestling. My name is Andrew Becker, and I am joined by Aaron Camaro. Yeah! In tonight's main event, a little bit of retribution is in store for Chris Michaels as he goes against Chase Owens. You know it, and what a huge night it's going to be. Talk about action. We've got one going on right now, right here behind us. But before we get into that, let's get a word from the man in the match himself, talking about events. Well, it is time for a change in professional wrestling. Watch me, the Black Knees Assassin, Menace, help revolutionize professional wrestling here at RGE Wrestling. And this is going to be a hotly contested contest as everyone's jockeying for a position here in RGE Wrestling. Well, that's the way it goes. The newest, hottest thing in professional wrestling going right now. The fans all around the Knoxville area, they know what I'm talking about. They all tuned in last week to see the action. Well, we're just getting warmed up as here we are in week number two of the revolution. Yeah, and you got Menace here uh, from Tokyo. Yeah, south side of Tokyo, baby. Yeah, the south side of Tokyo taking on Sean Schultz from Right here in Clinton, Tennessee. Yeah, he's the modern day Viking. That guy can come from wherever the heck he wants. Robbing and pillaging across the land, taking titles and breaking hearts everywhere he goes. I love that guy. Yeah, that's right. And uh, we, you know, we went off the air last week with that uh, high flying uh, uh, yeah, roster clearing. It was a mess, man. We had everybody out here fighting. That was great. But you just, you never can tell what's gonna happen. The revolution, and the revolution means something different to everybody. And you got Menace here, who's a 18-year veteran, the man of rubber, never had a serious injury, so Sean Schultz definitely has his work cut out for him. The fans tonight are on fire. Beautiful backdrop right there by Sean Schultz. Man, this guy's got it together. Sean Schultz, already, in my opinion, the VIP. Well, you know, and that really means something. When you've been in this business, when you've been involved in the sport of professional wrestling, as long as Menace has, and to be able to say you've never had a serious injury, I mean, 
That's crazy. I mean, I've seen broken bones. I've seen blood spilled, everything else. Look at Menace go. He is made out of rubber. What a move by Menace and Sean Schultz. He trains every day of his life to show everybody in, in around the country, every promotion he goes to, just how good he is. This guy is going places. Mark my words. Well, right now, he's not going anywhere. Menace under, can you got this one under control? Oh, no, don't ever count Sean Schultz out. Look at that. And you also got to remember, Sean Schultz is kind of the, uh, I guess, de facto guy in charge when Tony Locasio's not around. Now, Tony is here tonight, as we saw his interaction earlier with, uh, with Alan Shepard, the anti-bully, along with his cohorts, I guess you were. There we go. We've seen this before. Beginning and the end for Menace. This one's over. Go ahead, ring the bell. Neckbreaker combination, lateral press, two count. Oh, no, I can't believe it. You know how few guys have kicked out of that, that finishing combination by Sean Schultz? This menace has really got something going on here. Maybe it's the fans, maybe it's his personal perseverance, but he's in there with a winner and he's looking pretty good. And uh, let, let's go real quick. Let's hear some pre-recorded comments from Sean Schultz. I'm so sick and tired of everybody in wrestling living in this fantasy world where they think honor actually matters in wrestling. Everybody going up to these old school guys and shaking their hands and showing them respect. You think they did that? No. What revolution means to me is that wrestling gets a little bit of a reality check. I am sick and tired of everybody thinking that they're a lot bigger and a lot better than they actually are. Such arrogance. Well, when you're Sean Schultz, arrogance comes along with the territory. He doesn't just talk about it, he backs it up. Right now, Menace taking control of this one. Hard shot right there, shoots him across the ring. Sean Schultz rebounds. What is this, reversal? It's back and forth. Oh, what a move, drops him right on the back of his head. But is it arrogance coming with the territory or is it arrogance that is the territory? Haven't we seen promotion by promotion run into the ground by people that just you know, aren't able to separate their personal lives from their professional? Well, I don't think that's going to be a problem here. Not with a stand-up guy like Tony Lacasio in charge. My boss. Love you, man. See you a little bit later on after the show. We'll go have a couple of drinks, huh? <laughs> yeah, stand-up guy with two bullies on his sides. The 90-pound big mouth is just out to cause trouble, in my opinion. You better watch what you say. That's the man that signs your check, Andrew Becker. Look at the menace. Up on top. Wow, misses, but he lands on his feet. Sean Schultz don't know he's there. Spinning kick to the midsection. He's setting him up for it. Could it be? Oh, yeah. Nails him hard. Referee out of the case. One, two, three. It's over. I can't believe it. And thank goodness Menace gets the win. This is an outrage. All kinds of momentum here in RGE Wrestling. August 22nd, 7 p.m., RGE Wrestling comes to the Morgan County Fair featuring Sean Schultz, Shane Andrews, Menace, Chase Owens, Sigmund, and Casey Rush. Tickets are free with admission to the fair. So, the whole, the whole Scottish thing, it didn't work out. But, it's okay. Because I got something surefire this time that's going to win. I am Casey Rush, the Tree Wizard. That's right. I have the power to control anything that's a tree. Everyone should fear the ability and the power and the structure that I'm about to build in this company because no one gets away from the tree. Now, young KG Rush here is obviously trying to find a name for himself, but I'm not sure he's gonna find it in the Tree Wizard. The oh. Tree Wizard? Give me a break. Last week this guy was Casey McRush. This week he's the Tree Wizard, and well, it doesn't appear to be doing him any good. Well, triple threat match. Looks like we've got this thing down to a one-on-one -on -one match. <laughs> you see the, the fans on the outside helping their uh, Tree Wizard hero to his, to, uh, <laughs> catch his breath after that hard throw on the floor. Well, for a second there, I thought the old tree wizard was gonna crawl his way back to the forest, but the action continues right here in the ring. Beautiful clothesline right there. Well, who's that? Oh, no. No, not this guy again. Becker, I warned you about him. 
Octavius Black, why is he here? This man is a psychopath. I mean, I'm telling you, there's guys in the back that are big, mean, scary guys, but they don't come no bigger, meaner, or scarier than Octavius Black. And, you know, if he's out here, this can't be good. And he's getting in the ring. The guys in the ring, they don't even know he's there. Now they see him there. Look, one's taken off. Casey Rush, what's he doing on the outside? Look at these guys. Shots to the head of Octavius Black. It doesn't even affect this man. Oh, my goodness. Nearly takes his head off. Octavius Black has no business out here. This man's a psychopath. I'm telling you. Oh, wait, look here. We got the tree wizard. He, he's coming back into the ring with Octavius Black. Is he crazy? What can he be thinking? He's got words for the man that basically destroyed him last week. The fans, well, they're behind the tree wizard 100%. He's getting all hyped up. He's got the power of the trees. And, well, no, maybe not. Octavius Black, look at this man. He's a beast. Don't think of this man as a big mindless monster because he's, oh, oh, no with a sick thud, a splat on the outside of the ring. The old tree master's gone. What's this? No! Octavius Black. This man is a force to be reckoned with here in Revolution Grappling Entertainment. Nothing entertaining about that man. Just a big, scary dude. On November 3rd in Oak Ridge, Tennessee at the Boys and Girls Club, CNR Service Company presents the second annual Tag Team for Tots in association with RGE Wrestling. All proceeds go to the Holiday Bureau of Anderson County. So where have you been? Octavius Black comes out here and you split out out of here leaving me by myself. Yeah, check out this awesome shirt. Tree Wizard t-shirt that I found at the merch table, which will be available at... Okay, let's face it. It's not going to be available anyway. Well, we've got more matches but it's a cool to call. Shirt. I got time to mess around. Let's go. Well, yeah, I mean, Oct Octavius Black came out here and yeah, I Yeah, was... that's right. As soon as Octavius Black comes out here, you hit the bricks. Leaving me out here by myself. Don't do that. Don't leave me out here when Octavius is out here. That guy's a psychopath. Well, it's a cool t-shirt. Well, it is pretty cool. All right, we're joining this match in progress. We have Jeremiah Plunkett taking on Robbie Race. Jeremiah Plunkett last week had a very dominant victory over Nick Iggy. Now, Nick Iggy has not been seen tonight. It's not clear if he's fit to wrestle, but it's just strange that nobody's seen him. Well, Nick Iggy was scheduled to be here tonight, but yeah, you said it correctly. You know, it came to be match time, it came to be bell time, and everyone said, where's Nick Iggy? No one can find him. Apparently, the beating that this man gave him last week, talking about Jeremiah Plunkett, was enough to send that guy packing. We're gonna probably see the same result here tonight. What a feather in the cap of Jeremiah Plunkett it would be to knock off Robbie Ray. Robbie Race punched in the face by Jeremiah Plunkett just like that. This one's got to be over. One, two, and no. Wow. Robbie Race kicks out. Robbie Race showing some resilience after that single axe handle punch in the face dirty trick by Jeremiah Plunkett. Hey, I wouldn't call that a dirty trick. That's just Jeremiah Plunkett's wrestling style. And a uh, pile driver that we saw, you know, uh, wow. I guess put Nick Iggy out of action. Yeah, he's going for it again. Look at here. He's got him. One, two, three. No. Yes, yes, he did. It's over. Rudy Charles, if he says it's over, it's over. And that man's your winner right there. Once again, two weeks in a row, Jeremiah Plunkett. You got to give him credit where credit's due, but that was definitely an underhanded victory. Robbie Ray's complaining to the official that he missed Jeremiah Plunkett grabbing the top rope to secure the victory. Come on, I didn't see Plunkett. Oh. That's what you get for your complaining. Take it to the complaint department. This is professional wrestling. Another brutal assault by Jeremiah Plunkett. Looks like he's gonna put Robbie Race down just like he did Iggy. Yeah, these young guys come in dis disrespecting a veteran. A guy's like the headliner, Chris Michaels. Whoa, it's the anti-bully, Alan Shepard. What's he doing here? He's got no business being out here and during Jeremiah Plunkett's victory celebration. No, he just, he's just trying to restore some order here since the referee is unable to do it. Looks like he's got something to say. If you 
want to bring wrestling to your town or you need to raise money for charity events, booster clubs, or any fundraisers, contact us at rgewrestling at live.com. This is a non-title match for the Mountain Empire Championship pitting champion Sigmund against Shane Andrews. What a matchup this is gonna be. A champion, no doubt, yes, but the title is not on the line here tonight. You are watching RGE Wrestling. I'm Aaron Camaro, joined in the booth as always by Andrew Becker, and this is gonna be a classic. With, with the Tree Wizard t-shirt. And now Shane Andrews last week came off of the, I guess, opening series debut well, yeah, of RGE Wrestling with that huge victory match. right, against the headliner Chris Michaels, which has pretty much sent Chris Michaels off the deep end. Yeah, I mean, I tried to get a word with Chris Michaels backstage earlier tonight, and then let me tell you, you know, what happened last week, it continues tonight. This guy is angry, and, you know, I like Chris Michaels. I'm not even going to go near him. Yeah, you saw him throw Jagger Sterling, the, uh, the ring announcer, into the, uh, the camera guy. He's lucky the charges weren't filed. You can't charge files against the headliner Chris Michaels unless you're charging him with being awesome, then he's guilty as charged. Well, sure you can, because the, the ring announcer and the camera guy are not professional athletes, and they are, should not be put in harm's way. Of course, management here, being what it is, apparently won't take action. Hey, all you gotta do is file an official complaint with Tony Lacasio, he'll get it taken care of for you. Here are some pre-recorded comments from NWA Mountain Empire champion, Sigmund. They talk about changing things. They talk about starting a revolution. I've already been doing that. You see this belt? This is the NWA Mountain Empire Championship. This is something that I've been defending for months now, revolutionizing the entire wrestling business, every company that I touch. And it's not going to end here. Because here at RGE, it doesn't matter who I go up against because there's great talent here, no doubt. But they're not the wrestling extraordinaires. So you can send me Miss. You can send me Shane Andrews. You can send me Chase Owens. Because at the end of the day, it's Verdi Siga. I will win. From the champion's mouth himself, absolutely no doubt about it, Sigmund is the wrestling extraordinaire, and Shane Andrews is getting a little taste of that right now. Right, hard-fought athletic contest. Sigmund challenging Shane Andrews. Little dirty trick there, choking him with his boot. Sigmund is the champion of NWA Mountain Empire, but make no mistake about it, this is RGE Wrestling, and this is a non-title matchup. Right, but implications, as I guess you may want to call it a uh, revolutionary implications, of course, beating a champion will probably get you a title shot in the future. It's unclear what our protocol would be for championships, especially with what relationship we might have with the National Wrestling Alliance. Well, that's another thing, too. You'll have to talk to Tony Lucasio about that. He's the man in charge. This guy is amazing. They don't call him the wrestling extraordinaire for nothing. Oh, beautiful drop kick by the champion Sigmund right there. And they don't call Tony Lucasio the best boss in the world for nothing either. Yeah, and a fist to the throat to good measure. Beautiful drop kick, but does he have to use such underhanded tactics? He doesn't have to, he just likes to. That's Sigmund's way of doing things. He gets the job done and that's all that matters. Sigmund, the intelligent veteran he is, follows that one up with a nice tight headlock, grounds Shane Andrews where he is. With a guy like Shane Andrews, that's a really sound strategy because you don't want this guy up. You don't want him bouncing off the ropes, flying at you out of nowhere and doing all the martial arts moves this guy likes to do. You want to keep him grounded as best as you can, otherwise that's what's going to happen to you. Big firing up by Shane Andrews. Back elbow, throws him off the ropes. What's coming up? Big drop kick. Two guys that can go back and forth, no doubt about it, that's gonna take a lot more than that to keep the wrestling extraordinaire Sigmund's shoulders down for a three count. Big leg lariat, and here's, here are some pre-recorded comments from Shane Andrews about what the revolution means to him. Revolution to me, 
means a fresh start, a new beginning, to do things others have never done and can never do. That's what a revolution is to me. Well, now we know what the revolution means to Shane Andrews as this man takes to the skies. Big Miss Sigmund, he's, he's a wrestling extraordinaire, but the guy is very, very intelligent. And you, you can't see. make a mistake with against Sigmund, but here it goes. One, two, no. That, no, it isn't. That he got his shoulder up. There's no way that was a three count. No, that was a three count. This match is over. Shane Andrews, two in a row, two and oh at RGE Wrestling, has defeated Mountain Empire champion Sigmund. He got lucky, real lucky. Coming up next, the main event, some retribution, Chase Owens challenges Chris Michaels. Don't change that channel. What does the revolution mean to me? The anti-bully Alan Shepard. Hey, come in. It means the end of bullying. Hello? Help me. I'm stuck. You okay? Come on. Come on, man. Yep. Come on. Yep. yep. Come on. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Sit. <laughs> you good? I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> well, we're back for RGE Wrestling main event time. Hey, Becker, I guess we know where Nick Iggy's been. And Camaro, that's not funny. It, it, bullying is, is, is not funny. Whoever put him in that locker should be, like, do, what is our hazing policy at RGE Wrestling? This is a serious matter and needs to be dealt with appropriately. Hazing policy? Well, again, I guess you better take it up with the boss, Tony Lucasio. I'm sure he, he'll just make room in his schedule to see you about that right away, I'm sure. Yeah, well, this match under underway. Chris Michaels, frustrated after last week losing to Shane Andrews, took out his fury on Chase Owens. Well, you know, and here's the deal with that. We've got a whole promotion full of young guys here that are disrespectful to a veteran, a talented veteran like the headliner Chris Michaels. You know, I wouldn't doubt it if Chase Owens wasn't in the back running his mouth like these young guys always do, trying to talk about how they're so much better than guys from the past, guys from a bygone era. But let me tell you something about Chris Michaels. This guy might be a veteran, but he is in his prime. And even if he is a little bit past it, he's still 10 times better than a joker like Chase Owens. But Chase Owens is one of the fastest up and coming superstars. And Chris Michaels is just gonna have to get out of his way. Well, if Chase Owens knows anything about professional wrestling, he should know to respect a man like the headliner Chris Michaels, a man who spent his entire career earning respect. That's why you give it to him. Your little fancy flip moves, all your, your flying around, your speed, your lightning, it doesn't mean nothing once Chris Michaels gets his hands on you. This one's gonna be over. Chase Owens is gonna be in the locker room crying about it later. Right, and I agree with you, but Wrestling is about winning and losing. And last week, Ch or, uh, last week, Chris Michaels lost fair and square to Shane Andrews and then decides to take it out on everybody he can get his hands on, and that's just not right. Now here he is, jibber-jabbering with a fan instead of taking care of wrestling. This is wrestling. Take care of wrestling. Well, that's where I disagree with you there. Chris Michaels, for one, he got ripped off last week. That was a fluke victory by Shane Andrews. There's no way that guy could ever, ever beat, beat the headliner Chris Michaels like that two days in a row. Not happening. Here's Chris Michaels' chance at retribution. Big drop kick from Chase Owens. Knocks Chris Michaels to the outside. Now Chris Michaels throwing a temper tantrum, throwing chairs into the ring. Ooh. 
what this is what is going on here people are going to get hurt here and people that don't need to be in the action and i mean the fans i wouldn't worry so much about the fans becker man you better watch out for yourself them chairs are flying yeah and this match may need to be thrown out this is not a this is not a wrestling match it's not a hardcore match certainly this is a one-on-one -on -one wrestling match and Chris Michaels won't even get in the ring and face Chase Owens. Just calm down. Take deep breaths. Take it easy, Becker, man. Get your little puff off your asthma little thingy there and take it easy. Chris Michaels back in the ring. This is called controlling the pace of a matchup. That's what veterans do. They're smarter. They've been there. They've done it. Chris Michaels has seen it all. He knows exactly what he's doing out there, as you can see. Yeah, but Chase Owens seeing his fair share, too. He's been to Chikara. He's been to Ring of Honor. He's on his way up. Oh, dirty shot by Chris Michaels. This match is being thrown out. Why? Disqualification. Why? Because he, low blow. Low blow is a disqualification because this reverse is not a street shin fight. kicked him. He reverse shin kicked him. Why would he get disqualified for that? Let's hear what Jagger Sterling has to say. Yeah, thank you. The match has been thrown out. Disqualification. Unbelievable. If that's what the revolution's all about, giving these young guys a powder puff break in the business, I want no part of it. And a dirty cheap shot. Oh, I'd say he deserves it for robbing Chris Michaels of the victory here tonight. Robbing Chris Michaels? Chris Michaels robbed himself. He wouldn't even wrestle. He just wanted to cause trouble. It's pretty obvious to me that not only are these young wrestlers here in RGE against Chris Michaels and disrespecting him, it goes all the way down from the ring announcer to the referees and on down the line. This man deserves respect, and if he don't get it, well, he's gonna do what he's doing right now to Chase Owens. He's gonna take it. Eric Camaro, everybody, everybody, everybody is enjoying the revolution and loving what we're doing, except Chris Michaels, who is miserable, and he's taking it out on everybody else. Hey, I'm enjoying what Chris Michaels is doing right now. Well, I got news for you there. Nobody here can stop the headliner, Chris Michaels. He's going to do what he wants to, when he wants to, to whom he wants to, as you can see right now with poor little baby, Chase Owens. Well, this broadcast is going to come to an end here. Thanks for tuning in. We're sorry this match had to turn out the way that it did. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Everybody watching at home at my VLT TV is going to enjoy that one. Chris Michaels, the headliner, doing what he wants to do. This right here is what I'm talking about. It's chumps like this who make it bad for guys like me! <laughs> <laughs>